Good day, everyone. Welcome to day 17 of this project. And a surprising number of finished models. All eight of them. I had a spurt of fast working here. Um, they're not my best work. They, they're a little sloppy in places, but, you know, decent tabletop standard. Um, I, I was a little concerned about the rogues because it turns out I painted them with brown hair, tan skin, and a lot of brown leather. It's, it's a bit samey. I mean, realistically, a thief would want to not stand out, wouldn't want bright colors. They'd want to blend into the shadows. But for, for gaming purposes, eh, maybe I should have given them something some splashes of color, I don't know. And here we have the shamans. Which, yeah, they, they're bright. And with their white hair. Um, yeah. So, a bunch of more minis in the bag. And of course, I have prepped you And more. this is the final batch of the collection of AD&D minis, all primed up. Nothing more on them but primer as of yet. We'll see how much I manage to paint up of them until tomorrow. I mean, because I'm starting from scratch here, you're probably not gonna see any of these completely finished by tomorrow, uh, maybe the day after. Yeah, but they are in the works. So the next stage to tackle after I'm done with the AD&D minis is the big bag of horror. These uh, discolored old minis. And now the discoloration, I think this is, uh, this is a hint that there is a high lead content in these minis actually. And when they're exposed to air for a long time and and they don't get painted up, they kind of get this sort of patina. And, and I have a theory about how to clean them up. We'll, um, I'll try it out and I'll show you tomorrow if it worked or not. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, the archive miniatures, yeah, I'm, I'm taking them out of the project. I have decided, yeah, the, the, there's no point in trying to paint those up right now. I'll save those for maybe a future. Um, uh, project? Uh, yeah. There, there's so much of this stuff that there won't be time to get to that and give, give it the time it deserves. Um, this summer. Also, I've I've discovered yet another uh, archaeological find that I'm not going to get to during this project either. I'll save it for oh maybe a the Christmas break or something. But so so now my focus now is to try to get all of these old RuneQuest minis. Uh, done in 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 priority one all of these guys and secondary objective the ones that are still in blister packs so let's go on to the question of the day which comes down to do I have any uh, advice for people who might want to take some sort of pain charge in the future and I would simply say don't worry so much about the rules. Uh, don't 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 get hung up on um, bureaucracy, uh, the 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 sort of wording of what you're supposed to do, and don't don't compare yourself to others. Set a challenge. Set a project that is a challenge for you that will stretch your limits a little bit. Not too much, not to the breaking point, but just enough so that you can grow. 
that's how you learn new things. So, yeah, that'll be it for day 17. See you tomorrow.